I'm getting ready to go to the fish store to get my water for my changes because I don't have an RO unit. The one thing you want to do is make sure that you label your jugs so that you don't get them mixed. I made that mistake once and instead of using salt water to make do a water change, I used RO water. So I use nail polish and I label the lids. These jugs are jugs that cat litter came in. If you've watched some of my other videos, you'll notice that I have cats and I use the plastic jugs the cat litter comes in to tote my water back and forth from the fish store. This one's for salt. Here's one for RO. These hold about three gallons and I typically get three salts and one RO. So I'm off to the fish store to get some water for my water change. Here we are at our local fish store. This is North Waco Tropical Fish. Proprietors are Neil and Sue. A uh, couple good things about your local fish store. Um, usually they're very knowledgeable and can give you tips and help you when you have problems. A couple other things. Uh, get to know your local fish store owners. Uh, they can look out for uh, items that you're looking for, whether it's fish or coral or equipment. Neil here can uh, get me just about anything that I need. Anything I'm looking for, he'll keep an eye out for me. A few other things. Sometimes people complain about the price at the local fish store being a little bit higher than things online. But unless you're getting several hundred dollars worth of things online all at one time, you're going to be paying for shipping. And if you add the shipping costs in, you're coming out better a lot of times purchasing from your local fish store. It also keeps your money in your local economy and you get to look at the livestock before you buy it. You get to make sure it's exactly what you want and that it's in good shape. Also, I don't have to wait around the house for the FedEx fellow to come and bring me my package. Neil gets it, usually from the airport. He makes that trip. I don't have to take off work and hang around the house. Also, um, if something comes in that I want, Neil will hang on to it for me for a few days. So I make sure it's acclimated. Um, he'll hang on to it in case it's had some stress. And uh, another good thing is your local fish store also gets trade-ins from people. Whether it's fish that they've bred in their tanks or, don't, or aren't using anymore. Um, or coral frags. People bring those in for store credit. And when you buy those, like my rose bubble tip sea anemone, it has not suffered the shock of being transported for days on end or hours on end uh, from halfway across the country. It was uh, split off of someone's local anemone here. So visit your local fish store, get to know them. And if you're in the Waco area, North Waco Tropical Fish.